Continue. Yes. So uh, we're coming to this, you know, very very important uh, subject that I always want to have a, an opportunity to share with our audience because, um, you know, this Christmas um, we are starting this wonderful uh, new project called the Sacred Virtue Institute. Um, so, you know, as a prelude of our great upcoming work about uh, the absolute you know, importance for the human world to stop downsliding their morality. Mm. When the human world, the human heart, no longer can, can recognize what is required of a human being to behave, what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad, when the human mind are totally being fed by poisons of all kinds, People no longer understand what to do then was becoming good and happy and healthy. They don't understand it anymore. And so when people are not being taught in the public school, you know, children, little children, eight years old, I watched her came into this world, beautiful. I interacted with, uh, you know, this beautiful little girl uh, throughout the childhood. We hold hands and the, the, the original, original spirit before the external, you know, education of the public mm -hmm. school, when she was just only at home, she was uh, very bright. She understands everything, everything spiritual. She already had it in her heart. It doesn't need to be taught. She carried with her into this world all the beautiful, beautiful, loving kindness, generosity, forgiveness, everything she had it. But the moment she go to school, she's being poisoned. I observe all my children, my children, not only those, you know, uh, my daughter and my son, but also all the community children I met, they were all heavily poisoned by the current education system, mm -hmm. the public schools, and the textbooks. And the textbooks do not teach morality. They teach us all about how to smart mm -hmm. and how to immediately use measures. Whenever a problem happens, their response is measures. But the measures are all mistaken method mm. so that's it that's the reason you know Falun Dafa teaches these three words these three words Zhen Shan Zhen choose one is compassion forbearance Zhen Shan Zhen as a matter of fact every Chinese if they remember the 5,000 years of traditional Chinese culture the fundamentals. These three words are the essence of the traditional Chinese culture. Dao, Daoism, emphasize truthfulness. Mm -hmm. Buddha, Buddhism, emphasize compassion, kindness. And the Zhen, Confucianism, always talk about forbearance mm -hmm. okay so traditional chinese culture contains truthfulness compassion forbearance the essence of the five thousand years of traditional chinese culture i do believe that a korea Kore, korean culture has very well kept these three words mm -hmm. in all aspects of the traditional korean culture i believe that the moral lessons that the Sacred Virtue Way Institute is about to turn into both Chinese language and also English language and Korean language, language three language to deliver uh, to the world as the moral teaching material. If we study in the future, let's see. I believe in every teaching of this moral book, it conforms these three words truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. This is the fundamental nature of the universe. 
This is the law of the universe. All lives in the universe, if they do not have the quality, the character of Zhen Shan Ren, they cannot exist even. The, the smallest particle of all life, we have the human body. But when we further look into the human body, we know it's made of molecules. Then we know the molecules are made of atoms. When we look at the atoms, we know the atoms are made of protons, nuclear, and the electrons. Then we look further into those particles, we see even more microcosmic particles, right? Like quark, neutrinos, right? So, as a matter of fact, all life in this human world, actually, they all can be traced down into the most microcosmic existence. And the, that at the core of it, our spirit. Our spirit is made of the very, very microcosmic particle that no modern science can ever study it. But it is exactly our spirit that is the driver of our body. You see? And our spirit is made of truthfulness, compassion, forbearance. Without this, we do not exist. And uh, 